welcome back to my channel. Today we need to talk about something and <laughs> I want to preface this by saying I in no way want to discourage covering Turner syndrome. I don't want to scare people away from it. I don't want to nitpick. I don't want to be overly critical and I don't want to be so worried about how it's portrayed that I forget to value it being portrayed at all. I've talked about this before. I've said it a million times. I'm not one for the all publicity is good publicity, but I am all for any contribution to the conversation, any way of getting people aware of it, any way that leaves somebody going, huh, I had never heard of that before. Now I have. Now when I see that somewhere else, I'll have some kind of reference. Now that doesn't mean you should not be worried about how you are doing that but I also don't wanna miss that value there. So today, I want to give my thoughts and response to the news coverage of one butterfly's Turner Syndrome experience. It was a piece done by WPLG Local 10, and this was a video I became aware of through the Facebook groups, it was shared there and then I watched it. And the first time I watched it, I actually didn't have a very big initial response. And then I saw somebody comment in the thread under the link in the Facebook group saying, don't read the comments. If you tell me not to read the comments, you're tempting me to. So I did. And oh man, was that an experience. So first, the video. If you have not seen the video, I will link it in the description. I will try to put an I card. Um, it is a local news channel's coverage of Brittany Henze and her story with Turner, specifically her story with the heart issues with Turner's. Um, it's an incredible story and I could go deeper into that in a different video. It is really a truly inspiring and incredible story about surviving the coarctation of the aorta. They give a really, really amazing coverage of that story. What I would have loved to have seen was more explanation of what Turner Syndrome was, the title of the piece, the title of the video is Potentially deadly syndrome affects only females. So, it's not inaccurate, really. It, it's not inaccurate. It is a potentially, potentially deadly syndrome that only affects females. However, they gave no definition of what it actually was. They very much spoke in generalized language as if everybody has the same experience and all of the symptoms are guaranteed for everybody. When you name it that, that just sounds scary. Tell me if I'm overreacting in that way, but that sounds scary. And I know that that is a pattern that we just have to navigate, that a lot of the stuff online sounds really scary, but that's what's hard about it getting covered by people that are just finding out what it even is. So I would have loved to have seen an actual definition of Turner shared within it and other complications touched on as well to give a better idea of what the full experience is. If you watch that video, you will not leave really knowing what Turner syndrome is still. It's a genetic condition, heart problems are a part of it, and it only affects girls and women. That's such a vague picture. And then the other thing that I would have loved to have seen was a way of getting more information on it. 
So they talk about it being Turner Syndrome Awareness Month. I did not see much push to resources elsewhere for help or more information. And I would have loved to see that as well. So I'll kind of cap this section of my thoughts off with, I've said it also before, Turner Syndrome is too diverse of an experience, too volatile of a genetic condition to sum up with one story. And if you're telling one person's story, you're gonna have differences with others. I want to leave that idea understanding that and giving grace for that, giving understanding for that, and leaving room for that when when it's being covered, not expecting them to do the impossible and not, once again, devaluing the fact that so many people who had never even heard the word Turner Syndrome now have heard it. And that in and of itself makes me happy. Now the comments. There was a reason people said don't read them. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what that was. So if you don't want to be upset, don't go read the comments. Um, I know I'm tempting you just like I said earlier, but the amount of gender jokes and political jokes being made on a video about a very serious condition during the awareness month for that condition, on a video trying to help get awareness out and trying to share a story was astonishing. There were comments that, you know, the comment section was so ignorant and uneducated about it. Yes, of course. And I'm sure those people commenting were not intentionally thinking they were hurting people. They just thought shock value joke at the very least. At the very worst, they didn't care. And they just wanted to get a rise out of people. I think to comment those types of things under that video in that scenario, you know people that have it are going to read the comments. Whether it's from Brittany sharing it with her friends or not. Like, whether it's from her sharing it or others that have it finding it. Come on. I know you can see the issue there. And that's not okay. There's no need for that. That, that's not constructive, that's not helpful, that's not supportive. And we could go into talking about the toxicity of online and all of that, but the point being, that was not necessary and was very discouraging to find under a video about a condition that rarely gets covered anyways. And I was hopeful. I know it'll still do some good, but that was just really discouraging to see underneath it after going to it being really excited that it was being covered. And especially such a serious part of it that people need to be aware of and an incredible story. So I left my YouTube link and I said, hey, if you wanna learn more, here's some more information on it. Here's, here's my channel that has some more information on it. I truly hope that those that made those comments will take opportunities to educate themselves and try to understand. You know, one can hope. And I, I truly hope that the news coverage does good things for sharing the message of Turner Syndrome, especially on Turner Syndrome Awareness Month. Those are my thoughts. That's my response. I would love to hear your response. I would love to hear your thoughts. I don't want to naysay every coverage that Turner Syndrome gets. I don't want to nitpick all of it. I don't want to devalue it being talked about and discourage people from talking about it because that's not my goal either. My goal is to get people talking about it. And to do that, there needs to be room for more people in the conversation, room for people still learning, room for those that are just finding out what it even is and are willing to give it a platform. That's important not to forget. I don't wanna lose that in that journey. Another thing I wanna to add to that thought is those comments, 
do not take away from the value of the video for getting Turner syndrome in front of more people. Those comments, while discouraging and astonishing, do not take away from the ability of that video to have more people know about Turner syndrome than did before watching that video. And that's important to remember. And I think I would encourage anybody that was disheartened by the comments that that probably was not the response of the majority of the people that watched it. That usually that's the loud minority making those kinds of comments for whatever reason and not the majority. I have hope that the more it gets out there, more people are educated, the more awareness is spread, the better that response becomes. The more people understand what they're responding to. And also leave it with, we can handle some comments on a video, guys. Yeah, it's discouraging, it's disheartening, it's rude. Whatever you wanna put the description on it as, we can handle some comments. Internet opinions come and go. We can handle some comments. And don't forget, Turner Syndrome Awareness Month, we're Turner Strong. And Brittany is Turner Strong. And I am so glad her story was shared. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful if you were processing that whole video and experience. Like I said before, I would love to hear your thoughts. There you go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.